For the first time, the legalised cannabis party will have a representative in the New South Wales Upper House. Final results for the makeup of the Legislative Council were announced this morning. And Chris Ma has the details. Well, three and a half weeks since the state election, the final count for the Upper House of Parliament concluded today. Now, the preference distribution occurred at the Electoral Commission and drew a crowd of hopefuls from the major and smaller parties. 21 positions. Now, that's half the Legislative Council was up for grabs. The final spot won by the Liberal Party. But the legalised cannabis party has secured one position, pushing for drug reform. Its candidate, a former Greens Member of Parliament. Always uh, very nerve-wracking, but very exciting to actually see the results roll in. It's a big day for the legalised cannabis party and a big day for the movement to see uh, legalised uh, cannabis in New South Wales. One Nation gained an additional position, also a spot for the Liberal Democrats who want an inquiry into the response to COVID. Did the masks work? We don't believe they did. Did the vaccines work? We don't believe they did. And we need to basically hold people to account. It means Labor now has 15 upper house MPs, the coalition down to 15. The Greens and One Nation improved. There are 12 members on the crossbench all up. And that means, just like in the lower house, the new Minns Labor government has plenty of negotiation in front of it to get legislation passed. Thanks, Chris.